the United States Formula 4 Championship. It was created with the intention of bringing drivers from North and South America to race for super license points. That would help them get greater chances of racing on the European open wheel stage, graduating to the likes of Formula Regional European and FIA Formula 3. It's helped a large number of drivers get recognition for their talents, and in turn become well known among the racing fraternity. Some of these drivers include Cameron Das, Benjamin Pedersen, Eduardo Barrichello, Hunter Yaney and Carl Kirkwood. These fields are usually stacked with cars, several drivers obviously wanting to prove themselves to major teams around the world that they're the real deal from this region. One day though, in 2017, an event would totally blow away any storylines that came from the weekend's action. The USF Ball Championship were visiting the Circuit of the Americas for the first of two times that season. They were a support category to the World Endurance Championship's visit to the track. Each round of USF 4 consists of three races that would last half an hour in length. The second race would take place at the end of the day. In fact, it would be the last action of the day. Benjamin Pedersen would be on pole position and would lead the field out of Turn 1. Loads of action would occur throughout the field, with the slipstream helping keep the cars fairly close to one another. Then, by the midway point of the race... Well... The images explain for themselves. Yes, that is a school bus on the exit of the Fast S's portion of Kota. I mean, I'm sorry, hold on a second, let's just pause this for a bit and just take a moment to process what we're seeing here. Words completely fail me, even now. The sight of it is crazy enough, but actually, the longer you think about it, the worse it sort of gets because your brain comes up with many reasons of how bonkers it is that this is even happening. I mean, I dread to think what could have happened had a car have collided with the bus, mainly because a lot of us know that the result of this wouldn't be pretty. In a battle between a single-seater Formula 4 car and a bus that weighs a fair number of tons, only one comes out on top, albeit there would be no winners in this situation. It's a stroke of luck that none of the cars had a mechanical issue that meant they lost control, especially as that corner, even in Formula 4 cars, is pretty quick. Now you're probably wondering at this point, how was it possible that a school bus made its way onto the track during a live race? Well, unfortunately, no definitive reason has ever been given. However, there is a very solid suggestion of what it possibly could be. At Kota, school buses are used to pick up the corner marshals at the end of the day, once the racing action for the day has come to its conclusion. What's believed to have happened is that apparently the bus was given the all clear to go and pick up the marshals, despite the race still yet to reach its conclusion. How it was potentially given the all clear in the first place to go and start doing this, from what I can find, seems to be a mystery. The race was immediately red flagged before being restarted again once the bus had been taken off the circuit. Luckily this is an incident that can be looked back upon as one of those exceptional once in a lifetime moments that will never happen again. Despite this being quite a comical thing on the surface, it's a huge relief that nothing serious occurred from this instance of utter bizarreness. That though is going to be it for this video. A very short one I know, but thank you very much for watching. Do you know of any other strange and bemusing events in the wacky world that is motor racing? Say in the comment section down below. However, until the next video, be kind to each other and enjoy the rest of your day.